the the weapons team's been making all kinds of awesome stuff lately. Uh, I think you know Wither Horde. Wither Horde's awesome. There's another sweet exotic coming out pretty soon, and we've been trying to find the mix between um, you know awesome new stuff and some classics. And uh, a little over a year ago, we started to bring back some of the classic uh, the, the classics in an archetype that uh, is near and dear to my and a bunch of our you know players hearts as well and so we started off with the last words and thorn and uh this fall we're going to uh kind of complete that holy trinity from d1 with uh hawk moon hawk moon hawk moon Once they can replace luck in the chamber. Is it even Will it be able to one tap a super? Yep, I saw it. Thank you. Thank you everyone for your questions. I was watching. I did indeed hey, see it. Today, during Bungie's charity stream for GCX, formerly known as GuardianCon, Luke Smith revealed that Hawkmoon is coming back to Destiny in Beyond Light. As some of you potentially remember, Hawkmoon is my favorite Destiny gun of all time, especially and specifically within Destiny Year One. The weapon hit incredibly hard, had large potential for two-shotting in PvP, and had 13 shots per reload, which at the time, very high. Hawkmoon was insane in year one. As some of you potentially remember, I made a video talking about how I do not want to see Hawkmoon come back to Destiny unless it comes back in that similar state. However, Bungie has done away with Luck in the Chamber and other random damage perks in Destiny 2 as they moved towards a more balanced state of gameplay. The randomness of the weapon is essentially what defined the gun. Every reload was a pull of the slot machine lever, seeing where your bullets would line up. Removing that part of the gun means you're left with a blank slate of a weapon, able to do whatever you'd like. But in that case, why not just make a new gun entirely and leave the history of the weapon intact? In his appearance, Luke said that the team is moving the randomness in a different direction with the weapon off of the damage, so there's no luck in the chamber or holding aces on the gun anymore, but other than that, nothing else is known about the weapon. Given Bungie's recent moves away from introducing more damage perks on legendary weapons, I suspect that Hawkmoon will either, one, not have damage perks at all, introducing some other way to boost damage, like rate of fire increases, if the gun still is indeed about damage boosting, or two, be one of the few weapons that gets to hang on to damage perks as an exotic trait. I worry about the latter, as exotics do not retire, at least as of now. New perks introduced into the game over the past two or three seasons have pretty much all revolved around utility effects like health regen or automatic reloads on other weapons or the boosting of non-damage, non-reload speed based stats. Damage perks on Hawkmoon combined with the slow removal of damage perks on legendary weapons that might be happening right now could create a scenario where Hawkmoon or other damage perk based exotics will lead the charge for primary weapons for a long, long time. This is all speculation as of now and when the perks of Hawkmoon are revealed, hopefully sometime over the summer, I will have a bit more to say on the situation. Thank you for watching and you can come back to my stream now.